Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, part three of the, what should I say, lesson three um, of our 2D side scroller tutorial. Um, in this session, uh, we're still going to stick with our pixel art because um, obviously we're creating sprites for our scene. And if you remember correctly, in our last session, session, sorry, um, we created a single sprite. Uh, which was a grass piece of texture and if i'm being honest having a single piece of of grass texture inside our game is really not going to be applicable so what we're actually going to do in this session um is we are actually going to start creating a sprite sheet um and that sprite sheet is going to have a dimension of 256 by 256 um so a nice little small sprite sheet that we can work with and uh, nothing too aggressive in regards to sprites and we actually I'll stop the session after these sprite sheets, and then our next lesson is going to be all about putting those sprites into the Unreal Engine, and we're actually going to start working on our platform or, or creating our level, um, and that's what this um, tutorial is pretty much based on. So let's get straight into it. So let's uh, change the view, um, and as you probably aware, uh, we've been using Photoshop for this particular series. Um, if this is something you don't really want to use. There are other applications out there, uh, for example, GIMP or Paint or uh, Paint Tool Sire. There's many, many different types of applications you can use in regards to creating this pixel art for our game. And if you remember correctly, uh, this pixel that, or sorry, this sprite that we created or this tile um, was 32 pixels by 32. So that's 32 this way um, and then 32 pixels down. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to start creating our very own sprite sheet which is going to hold all our sprites um, that we're going to use inside this tutorial. And to do this we're going to create a new file and this new file instead of 32 by 32 it's actually going to be 256 by 256. Uh, so that's going to be um, our size of our canvas we're actually going to work with in this actual tutorial. And as you can see, if we zoom in, you can actually see the grids that we've been using for our pixel art. But in this case, we're actually not going to use that. Uh, what we are going to be using instead of that is we're actually going to be using a grid, which is going to make our life a little bit more easier. There are people that will create 32 by 32 uh, pieces and they'll actually place them um, inside the actual sheet itself. I find this a very complicated way um, where you could just use grids really um, inside Photoshop, which makes pretty much the same solution and probably a little bit more easier. So if I click on view and go to show and we're actually going to show the grid. Um, you can see that the grid is not specifically set um, to a 32 by 32 um, grid setup. So we actually do need to change this a little bit. And to do this we're going to go to edit. Uh, we're going to work our way down to preferences and we're actually going to go on to where it says guidelines, oh, sorry guides, grids and slices. So if we click on that, you could go on to general if you wanted to, if you want to see all of them. But we have to just one in particular, which is this the grid itself. And inside this preference area, all we're going to do is we're going to make a subdivision of two. Really important to put that first. Oops, Daisy, I shouldn't have pressed enter. That is my complete fault. Um, so make sure your subdivision is on two. And we're going to have a grid line, not by centimeters, because remember we're working in pixels. So we're going to change that to pixels. And we're going to make it for every 32 pixels. And as you can see, it's created a very nice grid reference for us, for our sprite sheet. Okay. And up to you. I mean, you can choose a color. I like using the magenta. Uh, it gives it a bit more. Um, I can see the lines a little bit more, more better. It's, again, it's a preference. Um, some people like using just black itself. I mean, you could use that if you like. Um, again, it's all up to you. You could use a custom color if needs be. But I'm actually going to use the magenta color. Um, for my grid lines. So what we're going to do is we actually need to bring our sprite that we created. So hopefully you did save it off the last tutorial. Uh, and to do this we just go file and we're going to place embedded. Uh, again depends on what Photoshop you're using. You might have place embedded. Um, you could have probably just place. Uh, you might have insert. All depends on the applications you are using or even imports um, on most applications. But in this one that I'm using, which is the, the Photoshop, I'm just going to say place embedded and I'm going to place my grass main. And you'll see that it will place it um, onto my actual canvas that I'm working with. Now you can see 
I could probably move this, but it's going to say, please, can you place the file first? And I'm going to say, yeah, might as well just place it because I'm going to move it anyways. And we're going to move this piece of grass here. All right, so you can see that what I have done is that I've moved that grass piece and I've fitted it into the area um, of my grid. Notice I've snapped it down to the bottom part of the grid because if it's up here, it's not really um, the best place to be because obviously the grass block um, or the dirt actually finishes on the bottom. So we'll place it flat on the ground. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create um, some extra pieces. So we're actually going to turn, uh, get a right side and a left side and a full um, dirt block. So we're actually going to do that in this tutorial. Um, and it's really easy to do. All we have to do is go on to our, our grass image. And I found the most easiest way to do this is to choose the eraser. Uh, we're going to change the mode to a pencil because remember brush is round, it will cause a few problems. I'm using pixels so the pencil is the best option. And you want to obviously scale this down to a size of one pixel because that's what we're currently working with. And how I, I tend to see how this works very well um, is if I go six across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll go six across and I'm actually going to take all this out. And I'm actually going to take all this out too because I don't need this. So I'm actually going to take all of this section out. Um, there are easier ways to do this. You could use a selection tool, select the area and delete it. Um, but in the, regards to this tutorial, we'll just do it manually. Um, so we're going to take all this out. Now, if you wanted a very sharp edge, uh, this would probably be um, something you might want to have. But I like to have a bit of a curve um, on my ledges. I don't like to have it very sharp like this. Um, it doesn't look very friendly. And the method I use. Um, is everything by two. Uh, I'll always start at zero, so just having it just plain here. And I'll take one out and one out. So I'm just going by two. And then my next step is going to take two out, like so. Two again. So again, I'm working in twos. And then the next, I'm going to take out three and so forth. So if I had another three, I would put it, I would put another three um, above and then a four or five, depending on how many stacks you've got. Um, that you want to get rid of to make probably not the best curve, but um, in this tutorial, this will do very fine for us in regards to making this curve section um, or the right ledge um, of our platform. So we can save this. We're going to save as. And as you notice, this is already a PNG, so make sure you save as a PNG. So, yes, we do want to replace that. Thank you very much. And what I find best to make the left hand side is that. If you haven't made so many mistakes, you could actually undo. Um, so if you hold Control, Alt, and Z and keep pressing it, you should be able to get back to what it looked like originally, like so. And what I tend to do then is I'll do the left side exactly the same as I did the right side. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six in, take these out. So I'm going to take these parts of the actual um, sprite out. And again, remove this. So I'll show you with the selection tool. We could select um, that area and just press the delete key. So um, again, that's a very quick way of doing it, if you wanted to. And then with the arrays, I'll do the same principle. So 0, 1, 1, then 2, 2, and then 3 across. So again, we get um, that ledge-looking style instead of that very hard edge, which um, I, I don't particularly like, really. I mean, for in certain circumstances, it could be a good piece to have, but I prefer to have just the, the ledge like this. So I'm going to save this to so File, Save As. And, oh dear, I made a mistake. I saved as grass main. Oh, silly me. It's okay, we'll fix that. So that's going to be grass left. So we're going to save that as uh, control alt Z. So we're going to go back because I need to fix that problem I just did by accident. Uh, file save as. I'm going to quickly rename this one to grass right because that's my right one because I saved over my main by accident. And then just have this as my grass main. So now I've got my left, my right, and my main. And I'll show you why um, we do something like that. So if we look at um, a game very similar, so what I've been using is maybe uh, Mario level. So if we have, oh, that's not how you spell Mario. And let's have a look at maybe what we can find. So these are very static ones we've got here. So let's have a quick peek if I can find one for you. Um, a good one is normally, here you go, here's, here's a very good one. So let's view that image. And what I'm talking about is this here. So if you had to think about this as a sprite, um, this is one sprite, another, and so it's just duplicated the same sprite over and over and over again. 
Um, but then we've got this little curvature here on the edges. And you can see they probably use the same principle as I have. So if I zoom in, um, we might be able to see that. So you can actually see it's gone one, one, and then two, and then three. So they've done this slightly different um, compared to what I have. Um, but you can see it's still following the same type of style that we're after in regards to um, how do we create these edges. Okay. So now we've got that all completed, we could actually go back into our sprite sheet and we need to put them in. So same principles, file, place embedded, and we're going to put our left side in, so we can place that in. Press enter, and let's move that. So because this is left side, I'm going to put it against here, so against the grid line, so my dirt and my grass are touching the line. And I'm then going to place, so I'm going to place embedded and I'm going to put my left side in. And with my left side, I'm going to put it on the left side. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. Um, so we're going to place embedded, and we're going to put the right one in. Sorry. Press Enter. And we're going to place that against the edge. So you can see it's sort of making a, a ledge here. Now, depending on how you want to do it, um, some of my students have said, wait, and this is a very silly way of how it looks. Um, you could actually move this one into the center, maybe. Our left, um, onto the left. Let's just put our center back down. And you can see it then um, has the definition of what we're looking for, of creating our little grass um, area that we're going to use. So one last sprite we're going to create is a full um, dirt block like this. And there's a reason why, and it's going to be something we need to look at when we start creating the level. So the easiest way I've found to do this is we can erase all of this. So I'm going to just use the selection tool, select all the grass and just delete that out. Control D to deselect. And all I do is hold Alt and drag up. And you can see that I then create pretty much a duplicate of what I have. And I'm just going to take it to the top. Now, be very wary about your pixels. Uh, make sure none of them overlap each other, especially where you're connecting. So you can see there, um, it's a bit of a strange connection. Um, so here, uh, you can see the pixels are all touching each other. You don't really want that to happen. So normally you just knock it up an extra pixel and it will sort of fit into place um, how you want it to fit. And again, we're just going to go File, Save As. I'm not going to save as a PSD. And we're actually just going to save it as a PNG because that's what we use um, inside Unreal. And we're actually just going to call this Dirt Block. Okay. Hit the Save button. Say OK on that. And we're actually just going to import this just like we did with everything else. So we're going to place embedded, grab our dirt block, press enter, and move it across and fit it into our 32 by 32. So this is going to play a very vital role um, in our development process. Um, and you're going to see why um, that plays a big role in what we're working with. Um, we are going to come across a complication later on. Um, actually, let's fix that complication now. So if you could imagine this, this, this dirt block, uh, going underneath here, you can see that we've got this dodgy ledge here, uh, which is going to look really strange inside the game. Um, so what we actually need to do is create these dirt blocks that will fit into these categories. So I'm just actually going to place that underneath there because that's probably the best place for it to be. Um, it's underneath that so you can see what it looks like. Um, and we're actually going to create another two dirt blocks, one for this side um, and one for this side. And again, very easy. Uh, this time we can file and open, and we're going to open up our left-hand side. So zoom in, and zoom into that. We're going to select all the grass, so we're going to select all the grass bit here, and we're going to take that out because we don't need it. Oops, no, delete, sorry, it's meant to deselect instead of undo. And same rule, so we're going to hold Alt and drag that up. Okay, make sure they're not matching, so they are matching, so we're actually going to pull up one more. And file, save as. And that's going to be called PNG uh, grass. Uh, so we're not going to call it grass left. It's going to be dirt left. And then same principle again. So we're going to go file, open. I'm going to open up the right hand side. I'm going to open that one up. Let's zoom that in again. So zoom in. If you're not too sure to zoom in, remember it's alt and scroll. Select the grass area. So all this grass bit here. With the selection tool. Delete that out. Control D to deselect. And again, Alt and pull up. And again, they match. So just pull up one more. And that will do. So file, save as, 
make sure it is a PNG. So we're going to save that as a PNG. And we're going to have it on this. We've got the left, so we need the right. So we're going to have dirt, right hand side. So we have the save button on that one. Okay. Now, by principle, we now have got everything that we need to start creating our level, well, a very basic level. Uh, with just dirt and, and, and grass to style blocks. So we can go back to our sprite sheet, file, place embedded. So we want our dirt left, and we're going to place that under our left hand side. And we're going to go file, place embedded, and we're going to need our dirt right hand side. Press enter, and we're going to place that underneath there. So now, if we ever have to put this into the level, we've actually got something. Um, that we can place underneath any of these ledges um, that we might have within the game. Our very last step that we need to do, which is really important because we're going to start using this sheet now um, in our next episode. So we need to go File, Save As, a lot of saving. There, there's so much saving when it comes to all this work. Uh, we're going to go PNG, and you could make a new folder if you like. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not really going to do that. Actually, did I make a fold in here? Uh, PNGs, PSDs. I should have already saved the, the PSGs, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so PNGs, and I'm going to save this as Sprite Sheet. Okay. Um, and we're actually going to use this sheet um, in inside Unreal uh, in, our, in our next episode. Okay, so once we hit save, that's saved for us, and uh, we don't really need to turn back to that um, just yet. But I'll catch you um, in the next tutorial. Remember, if you like this video, um, please remember to either subscribe or like. If you've got any comments of how I did that, uh, please let me know um, in the comment section. I'll try and reply um, as quick as I can. So, as you know, my name is Wayne. It was nice taking you for this session. Again, any comments, or if you'd like to subscribe, like the video, and etc., please, that would be great. Um, and I'll see you in our next session when we're actually going to head into Unreal um, and actually start creating our level. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next episode.